Hello, everybody. This is episode one of Reality TV for Amazon Suspended Cells. Julie, how are you doing? Doing great. Okay, so Julie's been a group member for around a year. First of all, I mean, how do you find the group? Do you find it helpful for Amazon sellers? Yeah, it's um, it's extremely informative. Um, I, probably the only Amazon group that I'm a part of that I actually get up to date information and and any changes that are going on. I mean, I'll catch up after a week and I'll just have kind of my 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 uh, a whole educational session just just from reading, you know a few back and forth between all the members. Right, okay, so great, so we're glad to have you. So we're trying to um, show people what the process is um, and what sellers have to deal with. So tell me a little bit about your business and what's going on. Um, so I, um, a lot of my business is um, health and beauty, makeup, um, well, you know, health and beauty aids, tools, ho home items, home decor, um, uh, some children's clothing. Uh, it's, that's probably my three main highest categories. Do you sell counterfeit? No. <laughs> <Didn't think laughs> so. Um, so, but but you have had some trademark um, complaints, and what, what what happens is, are these brands they don't necessarily know who you are, and they can't investigate to see if you're selling legitimate or not. So they just file these rights owner complaints. And then Amazon wants to see that you, you know who's right because they got hundreds of thousands of these complaints, and then they yeah. don't accept the receipts. So, so let me know, how, how do you feel the process has been, um, trying to get back on Amazon? And first of all, how long has it been, and how many times have you tried getting back? Um, it's been so it's been uh, about two and a half weeks, and the process is you write out obviously your POA, and you sit back and you wait. Um, I, even like on your group, I've read so many different horror stories. For me, it was waiting five days at a time in between each reply, right? And so you wait five days, you get that canned response. Um, sorry, we don't have enough info. Please submit more. Okay. And you're like thinking, it's not like so complicated. Here are my receipts. Let me know what you want. I'll delete the items. What more information do you want? Is that your position? Right, exactly. Yeah, because obviously we know, right? Like you're doing part A, part B, part C. Even like, was part A wrong, part B? Like, where did you not get enough, right? Like if, if they said part A didn't have enough, thanks, right? right. But like, you, you don't have enough, figure it out. <laughs> right now, how much time did you spend on your three plans of action? Also, uh, like each time, I mean, yeah, the first time you're spending like your 12 hours, right? Kind of going back and forth, taking a break, going back, like rereading all that, right? So, and then the next couple of times, probably an hour or two. Right. Every time you get a response back. And then five days, five days comes, your stomach drops and it's like, we need more information or have a nice life. And, and your whole business is kaput, is that, is that correct? Yeah, exactly. Right. So, okay. So what we're going to do is um, we're, we're going to get the login now of your information, of your account. We already started the process. We're going to review your plans of action. Um, a lot of times they just want you to delete the listings and then show from the remaining items that they have legitimate invoices. A little bit complicated because everything you have is legitimate anyway. So like, what are you doing like from now on? But that sometimes works. So what we're going to do is we're going to review um, your plans of action. Um, we're going to view, review your receipts because what happened is a lot of times, even though they're legitimate receipts, um, if there isn't enough information on Amazon to verify those receipts, um, Amazon is between a rock and a rock. So a lot of times if the items can be legitimate and there's no right on complaint at all, but if, the, right. if your record keeping is no good, so maybe certain stores you won't be able to buy from. Um, mm -hmm. Now it's frustrating that you would have liked to know upfront, right? I mean, would you have liked better to know upfront what stores you can buy from, what stores you can't? Yeah, exactly. And then you won't invest and buy, and then all of a sudden they'll tell you you can't buy from that store. Right. Um, well, can, can you estimate roughly how much you say you lost in gross sales being down these two and a half weeks? Um, 
I mean, given that it's December, probably thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars. Right. And how does it feel? Um, do you feel that Amazon is a partner and they care about you? And this just fell in between the, the cracks or they couldn't care less about you? I, I'd say um, right now, I feel like you feel like they couldn't care less about you. When right. you're signing up and you're, you know, those sales are coming in, it's like, it feels great. And then when you're, when you're out, it's, yeah, you feel like it's over. Like get yeah, out of here. It's, an, o- it's an awful <laughs> feeling. I mean, to me, the awful yeah. feeling is they make you feel like a criminal. And they make everyone yeah. feel like it's counterfeit. And are you sure it's not counterfeit? And so I'm going to review everything and we're going to help you with a plan of action and we're gonna get back to you soon and we'll update everyone what's going on. Okay. All right, sounds great. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye.